All right, I'm not sure how I'm going to explain this one. This is definitely a video for all my gear junkie friends out there, and it's a comparison between the Kemper and the Fractal Axe effects, but it's not your like scientific, this is the Marshall versus the Marshall, or patches of sounds that are very specific and dry, and it's not like the other video I did where I really kind of focused on the workflow and showed you how the software works for them. This is more something I kind of did for my own edification, and because I thought it would just be neat. So, well, let's roll the intro and then we'll talk. So in my other video, there's a lot of chatter back and forth, which is cool. I really appreciate it when users get into the topic, of course, and get to talking to each other about the stuff. And as always with these units, the discussion always turns towards really preferring one sound or the other or hating them both and thinking regular two band sound a whole lot better. But uh, what I wanted to do here, rather than one of what there is a million of out there, is to do a full song where I've got one song it's like a minute and a half, and I did all of the patches in one song with the Kemper. The bass, the mid-gain, and background guitars, and the high-gain lead guitars, and even kind of like a cool clean guitar. And then I take that entire song, perform it again, same guitar, same pickup settings. Uh, not one-to-one -one like a Marshall versus a Marshall, but like a good mid-gain sound that I love off of the one, and a good high-gain sound, and so on and so forth and then do it with a fractal. So once with the Kemper, once with the fractal. And then we can hear the whole song and kind of compare them back to back and see which one you like in the context of a full piece of music better. So first thing I'm going to do is play the songs. I'm just going to label them take one and take two. That way you can kind of have fun guessing to see which one is which. And then I'll, of course, reveal at the end which one was which. And uh, then after I play each one of the songs, I'm going to talk about uh, which sounds I used for each one of the patches just to give you an idea. So. Let's listen to take number one of the song. Okay, now we're going to switch units, play the whole thing again, take number two.
so I think they sound pretty different, but in my eyes, they both sound kind of cool. I don't think one sounds garbage and one sounds great, but you know, maybe you guys disagree. Let's talk about which sounds I used, and then I'll reveal which was which. All right, so for the sounds I was using, on the Kemper, I went into the rig packs, uh, which are things they put online of like top producers uh, made sounds, and I used Ace Skunk Anansi, am I pronouncing that right? So for the main riff and the mid-game parts of the backgrounds that I played leads over, I used a patch of his, that's the um, ACE Kosh PT gain is what it's called. So if I look down here on the list, it's right there, and you can see it's based on a Marshall V36 cabinet, and all the information is right there. For the leads, I used a couple of his sounds as well. He has something called the CF Mac 50, which is right here. And then for the lead at the end, where I wanted a little bit more gain, I used the CF Mac 50 Boost. For the clean sounds, I went into their Kemper Workshop over here and looked for something with a rotary on it, and what I found was something called Morph Tremolo which is right over here, and it has that nice rotary effect that you heard in the song. And then finally, for the bass, I use their Kemper bass profiles. And right here near the top, they have a Brass Diver, and I use Brass Diver Noon as my bass sound, which is something I like a lot and use on quite a few songs. So as you saw, I use the same guitar, same pickup settings for both songs, and let's get into the sounds I use on the Fractal here. Um, for the basic mid-gain stuff, the background and the main riff, it's patch number five that comes with, or preset number five that comes with the unit. Um, it's an A-Class 15 watt amp, tube amp, through a 1x12 uh, legacy, it's called, or excuse me, a 1x12 blue mix. Uh, cabinet. So for that clean sound in the break in the middle, I uh, use patch number 264 that came with it. It is a bunch of rotary uh, tremolo amp type scenes. I use the first scene, which is an 8% rotary. Um, the amp is uh, a 30 watt tube, and you have a 2x12 class A mix cabinet. My lead sounds were patch number eight or preset number eight on it, which is a model of a Plexi 50 watt. And I used scene number two uh, for the first lead. And then on the second lead where I had a little bit more gain, I jumped over to scene number three, which uh, is just a higher gain sound. And I actually turned on the drive pedal for that one, which is a model of a T808. And finally for the bass sound, I had imported this bass, uh, Paulie's Raw Bass, which I got, if you look over here, there is something called the Axe Change. And I just did a search, and I typed the word bass in here for filtering results, and saw Paulie's Raw Bass. And so I imported that into my own system and used scene number four, I believe. Now scene number five, which is based on the SVT. So that covers the sounds I used on the Fractal for this. Okay, so if you guessed that take number one was the Fractal Axe Effects, you would be right. And take number two was all the Kemper sounds. So if there's anything you guys would like to see me do to compare these two units, uh, something that's helping you make a decision about which one you want to buy or something you just out of curiosity want to see, please let me know in the comments. Uh, as you can see from other ones that I do, I'm always happy to chat with people and try to do videos that people suggest. So I hope you enjoyed it, and until next time, guys, keep making great music. Hey friends, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. It makes the whole world better.